Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to the Halloween edition of Impact Wrestling here on Twitch. I have been the voice of Order Entertainment Enterprise, Tommy Black, and I'm alongside the mouth from Raw, Shane Blitzkrieg. Yeah, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. Shane. I hope you can see that I decided to dress up as that one character that you don't like. That one character that I don't like. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Well, I do. You, do you, you don't you see the the fake? The, I'm the fucking ghost, man. <laughs> anyway, we gotta get right down to the nitty gritty. This is the go home show before Slam Anniversary, a huge two day event starting next Saturday and burning its way right into Sunday, Shane. We are about to hear 295 pounds of pure muscle ready to... Well, he's definitely not ready to let go of that Impact Television title, Shane. Well, it could be worse. He could want to get rid of the title. Then that would just be stupid. That would be awfully stupid. Not a... <laughs> I just saw in our Discord chat the lion, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch. <laughs> you're, you're very welcome, my friend. You're very welcome. Wow. That makes me giggle. But anyway, Moose will be defending the Vision Champion Night 1 of Slammiversary against. Let's go to the ring and hear from Moose. What is up, everybody? Yeah. And here he is. I think he put a wax on the top of his head. Yeah, I mean, his head is really fucking oh, shiny. That's gross. Please go the other way if you're going to do that. Like, look the other way. I looked at Moose and almost vomited. Wow. Ew. What is up? I mean, Moose de is definitely ready for the challenge. That Edwards is definitely no slouch in the ring chain. That is going to be battle next Saturday here on the night one of Slam Over 100% fact. Sure, whatever. Wait until the vault match four. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Edwards not not going to listen to the words of Moose anymore. He's ready to brawl here tonight on Impact Wrestling. What is up, little, little psychopath? I also want to give a mad shout out to Matt Coat. Dot. D O T. Not kidding. Com. That is one way to get a website off, Shane. I'm sorry, one more time? What, what did you, one more time, please? His mad coat dot D O T com. Okay, because I thought you said something that would get us actually. What do you mean? That would not get us. Well, I, I thought you didn't say it calm, I thought you said calm. That is so funny. Dark Prophet in the building. Of course, last night our X Division champion was doing Blade. Might need to tune in because he might be doing it again here tonight. Always know what's yeah, coming yeah. up in the, this Sunday. Hmm. And tomorrow night, there is going to be an open broadcast. Anybody as well Entertainment Enterprise is going to present an open stream of World War Z. Anybody is welcome to join. The viewers are welcome to join. Even yourself, Mr. Blitzkrieg. You know, real quick, it's no wonder you don't play anything that's cross Because then I can actually play That is cross Yes. Oh. 
I can download on my computer, yeah, bro. Go ahead. I own it. And right now, these two are spitting venom at each other. I mean, it's been a personal rivalry ending after sacrifice and definitely making his presence known that he is coming for the Impact Television Championship and he is going to do whatever he can to dethrone the tournament that the Television Championship title scene has been going through. You know, anniversary. You know, it's gonna be hard. Is he? Well, oh, if you guys don't the right know, hand right to Moose. It's here. <laughs> They're brawling right now. I knew it was coming. Eddie Edwards unloading on the gargantuan Moose. They hate each other more than I hate vegetables. So, uh, oh you my know. God! They're just getting in and out of the ring. Oh, and right on the outside, right here in Kansas City, there's kick off Impact Wrestling. Thank you, thank you, buddy. Little baby back there, just that was adorable. To kick off Impact Wrestling, all I hear is ah. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> That'll make a grown man instantly break the momentum he was on. That's enough to make a grown man cry. Oh wait, they're getting right back inside the ring. Moose, hoisting up Eddie. Oh! Oh, and there's a clothesline for good men. Trying to break him off. They can't keep their hands off each other until Slammiversary. This, they want blood. They want blood, Shane. <laughs> I'm so glad this Let's is Halloween. Let's get this party started. Because I would have started questioning you. Like, yeah, just, yeah. Anyway, anyway, we are going to kick the night off seeing all six members of the of the six-man ladder match at Slammiversary are going to be in action here tonight with Pentagon Jr. Pentagon Jr. was actually on All Elite Wrestling, was looking to advance the TNT Championship Tournament. That is this match coming up here. Well... Jeff Hardy, well, I, I haven't really seen too much of Pentagon Jr.'s work, but obviously as a Jeff Hardy fan, I mm. I think this is going to be a pretty good match. I hear the Pentagon Jr. is one of the best in the world. I think this is going to be pretty good. Pretty good. Like, Let's I, go to like the ring. 25-star Tokyo Dome. 25-star Tokyo Dome. That's funny. And here he is, Jeff Hardy, a former TNA World Heavyweight Champion. He actually debuted during the NWA TNA days back in around 2003 or 4. Oh, yeah, very early. Very early. And always a charismatic entrance when Jeff Hardy makes his way to the ring. This match is about to get extreme. And of course, I'm also being told that they can't control him. What do you mean you can't control him? Apparently, Eddie Edwards and Moose are brawling backstage, Shane. Okay, well, this is what I'm going to have to just say real quick. If they can't control him backstage, my God, you need to get Ken Shamrock to break them off. <laughs> Oh no! But thank you for tuning in, Voice of the Demon. Pentagon. Yeah, can you believe that Pentagon Jr. an Impact World Champion only held it? Did he? Did he lose it to um uh Ray Phoenix Jr. Is it Ray Phoenix? Didn't he lose to Ray Phoenix? No. Ray Phoenix never held the belt. I'm trying to remember. Lost it to. Hell, do you lose it in one DJ day? Key. Sure. It might have been Austin Aries. Because remember when uh, he decided Austin Aries deserves every fucking title at one time? Mm hmm. 
Pentagon Jr. about to go to war with somebody of very similar style. <laughs> Ray Phoenix Jr. You, you know, nice. I, but damn, the shots have fucked my fuck up. Look, I'm an uncultured swine. I'm going to admit that right now. So, pardon oh. me for talking about the 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 fucking fusion. Ugh. Slinging him off into the corner once again. Off the ropes goes Jeffrey. Oh, these two have each other well scouted. Of course, they met. They have met multiple times in tag competition. Tag team titles, they are now meeting once again in the six-man ladder. Last week, in the six-man ladder match, or six-man tag team match, they were in as well. This has been a slam anniversary chain. I mean, do you, do you expect it to not build? Or to be a small, I mean, I mean slam anniversary is the biggest event of impact this year. So, yes, I mean, it is. Kind of you would kind of expect that you know, they would do everything to make do it, it great to make it like, and this is what when you watch WWE, you watch the best oh. builds, the best matches, yeehaw! That might be it. Oh, and the kick out there by Jeff Hardy, Pentagon Jr. perched up on top, driving the elbow straight to the heart of Cat. Oh, the charismatic and Nick. Great back suplex there by Pentagon Jr. And for the cup. <laughs> this isn't even talking some junk. Right at the eyes. Pentagon Jr. has definitely had firm control here of this matchup. And a great matchup so far to kick off. Of course, out of the six men, Shane, who do you see walking out as the number one contender? Difficulties as my dis my question disappeared off into nothingness. Slowing down the momentum of Jeff Hardy here on Impact Wrestling. Of course, we got so much more action coming your way here tonight that Impact titles will be on the line. The Briscoes issuing an open challenge. Oh my! An open challenge. Boy is going to answer that open challenge here tonight. And is it a risque move for the Briscoes to be in their Impact Tag Team titles a week before Slammiversary starts? This could risk this. Shane could risk that Impact Tag Team title match. I mean, definitely, you know, if they go through suffer, suffering, pain, they could end up getting injured before them. You know, that would be a pretty, pretty bad thing. What is up, Shane? To everybody, thank you all for tuning in. Pentagon Jr. headed to the promised land. One more time for good measure. Look at the fly. Beautiful drop kick right to the face of Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy seems lifeless here, Shane. Feels like he's not even 100% entering this match, but somehow managed to kick out of that pinfall. Jeff Hardy starting to come to life. Oh, and one for good measure. Great, Jeff Hardy back up on his feet. Beautiful arm drag coming out of the charismatic enigma. Oh, and eat it, DDT. He's saying, Jeff got a slouch here. Wait a minute. Oh, great. Right here. Oh, and there's a neck breaker. Knows what Jeff Hardy was doing there. She Make a comeback. This is all vintage Jeff Hardy right here. And a wet drop. Roll it up. Beautiful drop kick right to the face. Vintage Jeff. Well, of, of course. Always vintage. Gotta go vintage when you know we've been there a while. The oldest trick in the book. Wait a minute. Had a scout, and this is the second time he's done it. I would eat that one. Here he goes one more time. 
drop kick to the face of Hardy. From the main do we have a winner? I hope we do. No! That Hardy in a very uncomfortable place at this time. Pentagon Jr. capitalizing on state that Hardy made. Oh, wait a minute. Slapped him. Slapped him like he was his own wife or something. Three. Pentagon Jr. up here. Oh, and there's an elbow. Oh, we were going to see something more spectacular. Oh, and right into the barricade. Right, right, almost right into that kid's lap. He would have went home with a souvenir. Flying out of the ring, and both men are down. Both men are exhausted. The cover. One, two, and that's not it. That is not enough to keep Jeff Hardy down. Here's the kick. Pentagon Jr. with his patented package pile driver. That'll be here, Shane. Oh. Gotta be. And for the cover, Pentagon pick up the win here on the go home show. Thank God, he did it. Jeff Hardy's still alive here, Shane. Son of a what a tough son of a bitch. Jeff Hardy setting up in it. Oh, nice atomic drop that Hardy's just gonna look at him. Oh, and an elbow straight to the lower spot. Wait, what's he doing? Pentagon Jr. Looks like he's doing a million dollars. Dream side Russian leg sweep there. Oh, and there's an elbow right across the throat. I might have cut off his truck. Oh, esophagus here. No! Somehow he's still breathing. Hardy coming to life. Nice, great drop toe hold onto that middle rope. What do you think Jeff Hardy needs to do to get back into the game here, Shane? Do you want a legit answer? Small ass, that's still legit. Oh! Hit his finisher. Hit the swanton bomb. Because I don't know about the three, but a lot of people can oh. go the swanton. from Pentagon Jr. Oh, and now he just slapped it. Oh, he was looking for something. Jeff Hardy went for the cross by. Oh! Nice forearm. Oh, and again with another backbreaker. That seems to be his move of choice here tonight, Shane. I mean, it's, it's effective, but I mean, I keep telling them to say, if it's effective the first time, do it again. Make it work. Where the hell is Jeff Hardy going? Pentagon looking to fly. Oh my God, somehow it connected. It got the job done. Before he harmed, he wasn't even in the way. They got Jr. descending right off the ropes. Jeff Hardy with an atomic drop. That's vintage Hardy right there. And for the cover. One. And the kick out there by Pentagon Jr. And for the kick. 
Ryan right here looking for the atomic drop. Or not the atomic drop. Face first goes Pentagon. Both Hardy starting to make a comeback here in the match, Shane. And he is just going to town. Look at the torque on that neck crank there. Jeff Hardy look at the, looks to scale to the promised land, possibly. And it's going to get a Oh! He looking for reversal there. Jeff Hardy coming back on the offensive. Jeff Hardy might be the one to take this. Look at a step back up. Looking for a rolling next step. Beautiful job there by Jeff Hardy. Taking this action right to the outside. And a gun junior running up with a bolt off to the outside. Bleeding profusely, Shane. Left son. For good measure, right directly in the middle of the ring. Pentagon setting up Hardy for his. Wait a minute! P Hardy reverse line! That could have been the end of the match. Hardy's still alive. There's the kick. Hardy with a twist of fate to Pentagon Jr. for the cover. And the kick out by Pentagon. What a match we have here to kick off impact. Was like, no. you expected something different, but when you saw him, expect anything different. I didn't know Hardy was going to make such a huge comeback to try to pick up the win. Wait. I'm leaning him up against the wall. Reversal there by Panic. Oh, and eat the super kick. Right to the face of Hardy. That's got to be it. Nero Hardy. There's the kick. Does he have it? Pentagon Jr. with a package pile driver at straight time with oblivion. Oh! Pentagon Jr. going for the gut the, to pick up the wave of momentum heading into Slammer first. Pentagon Jr. with the win. Hey, congratulations, Pentagon Jr. But I'm quite frankly, you can't. See. I mean, this was just a great match from start to finish. And as for Prophet put in the chat here, a winning match. And that's how we get this shit done here, ladies and gentlemen. And that's how we do it here in Order Entertainment Enterprise. And night is going to look like, as I said, the Impact Tag Team titles will be on the line. The Briscoes laying out the open challenge, and I, I can't clue on who's going to answer that open challenge. You know, you're, you're gone. But coming up next, ladies and Coming up next, ladies and gents, sorry. Oh boy, we got some men that are gonna be in the ladder match at Slammiverse. You gotta give that a five star rating, that was a good match. That is right, Suicide will be going up against a former, a former child competitor from back in the days of TNA. He will be going up against Samoa Ever since Suicide came back, he has been a been an impact television and right now turned his way into the six-man ladder match. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna be on the side of Samoa Joe, given the fact that you have quite a history with Samoa Joe. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, why wouldn't uh, firstly Samoa Joe is the raw talent. He's here on impact because he has some unfinished business. And I respect that. So that's the reason why I'm just I'm letting him do his thing. I'm just going to have to say, I think out of these two, I think Samoa Joe, because his agility just matches, I think he's probably going to get the one over Asterix. 
Asterisk. <laughs> Samoa Joe, a former NWA, t uh, NWA World Heavyweight Champion. He's a former X Division Champ, former U Continental Champ. The one title that'll lose his career is the WWE Universal Championship. Actually, from the buzz on social media, I am being told that Samoa Joe is more than likely the shoe-in to win the, la the ladder match at Slammiversary, which will be on night two to kick off the show. So let's go to the ring matchup here. That was plot. Oh, and we're getting this epic entrance, Shane, by suicide. His, his, I don't know really how to explain his entrance, Shane, is, it's very orange in here. Mm. I mean, if it's any consolation, it's red, but. It's a very dark orange. I'm, I might be colorblind then, I don't know. Yeah, I mean. His interests have always been interesting. It's usually different every time. And it's usually pretty cool. You know, because suicide is more or less just an entity. You think of it as like a demon Finn Balor or like the Fiend. He's an entity. That ups the whole, you know, just, you know. That really was. I mean, the mystery still is that. We don't know who under the mask of. But hell, he's been throwing us for a loop, given the fact that Vince is so hybrid. I think Samoa Joe has his hands full here tonight. Did you know his design came from a. Huh? Yeah. He was created in a video game. And then all of a sudden he was dead. A lot of people have been underneath that mask. You look at Chris Saban, Austin Aries, TJ at one point. We don't know who's underneath this mask. This is crazy. Here on Impact Wrestling, everybody. And I can tell you, this is gonna be insane. I think we're gonna see some side of Samoa Joe we haven't seen since his days in and his early days of uh, TNA or Impact Wrestling. I wanna thank everybody for tuning in here tonight for Impact Wrestling. I know it's a holiday, but you know what? This is our Halloween special. Not, I'm not being called in. Are you? I would prefer not. Wait a minute. That's Samoa Joe in the shadows. That's Samoa Joe in the shadows right to suicide. He's wasting no time. He's tired of the entrance. in no time on suicide. He was getting... Oh! Samoa Joe just taking the power game right to suicide here tonight, Shay. Great kick. No! There's a drop kick coming out of the oh. feet. Suicide. There he goes with another step up in gear. Samoa Joe with the reversal. Trying to take the blow. Oh, and there's an uppercut on suicide. Whoa. Don't let Samoa Joe size fool you. I never did. I mean, the man has probably a lot more agility than Austin Braun Strowman can show. I mean, this man will out wrestle easily. I think he could wrestle an alligator. Oh, and a tornado. Also, a former X Division champ as well. Back in the days of TNA. 
Chris Saban underneath the mask. Oh, and fist side into the canvas. Where the hell is he going? Samoa Joe is looking to fly. Oh, what a senton. The miles away from the promised land. That will shatter a few ribs and suicide kicks out. Suicide is lifeless. Now I can tell why social media is buzzing, claiming that Samoa Joe is a shoe in to win the ladder match. I mean, look at how he is taking the fight to Suicide Chain as he sends him flying with another hook suplex. I mean, quite frankly, fighting is good. He said fighting is good. <laughs> oh. Right hand coming out of suicide, starting to come to life. Here he goes with a jawbreaker, very reminiscent of Jeff Hardy, but he was just out here. Could be Jeff Hardy. Wait a minute, no! Oh my God! That was it! That was Shadow Drive! That was Shades of Slater right there. Shades of Logan Slater, is he under that mask? I'm sorry, isn't he your ex division champion right now? Yeah, but uh, we know him, he does whatever he wants. Oh, and there goes Suicide taking the kicks. Right to the back of. Uh oh. Puts him up. Oh my, what a belly to belly overhead suplex. Oh, oh, and there's one from Suicide. Over the ropes he goes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and he just passed figure. One more for the road. Third time such harm. I think that third time may have put Suicide out of his misery, Shane. No dice. Samoa Joe trying to figure out a game plan to take suicide. He has been one tough person to beat over the last few weeks. Hey, where is he going? Suicide rolling to the outside. Samoa Joe heading off the ropes. Shane, he's looking to fuck. Jesus. Gravity cracker. What does a cracker have to do with the fact that a pick man just flew? Holy shit. And I just said holy I shit. I just you. said it twice. Holy oh, shit! You said that? Holy shit! Holy shit! Now I said it six times. So go in control of the matchup. He's up. So this guy definitely taking a nap here. AC he doesn't have narcolepsy. Into the corner. So no one, oh, and then he's get up just in time. Samoa Joe. Snapmare there, taking a strike. Oh, and a kick right across the chest for good measure. Samoa Joe going for the cup. This may be it for suicide. No! Suicide definitely showing a lot of heart. Samoa Joe is definitely no match for him. Oh! For suicide here tonight, Shane, right here on impact. Oh! Okay. Okay. What did we learn, Shane? We learned to hydrate. Oh. We learned oh to hydrate. Hold on. Oh, and Samoa ah. Joe. Samoa Joe with a massive power bond of suicide. Jesus! I mean, you, I mean, he's got power. Like, that's a given. Here goes Samoa Joe. Here's a side. That, that could have broke the man's neck. But I did. 
Samoa Joe in for the cover to pick up the win here on Impact. One, two. Oh my God! Suicide gets the shoulder up after a huge muscle buster from Samoa Joe. Nice. I am hydrating to the best of my ability, sis. So much of his life. Oh, his suicide's up. Suicide just kicked right up after that huge suplex. How he's still in this match shape. I'm with you, man. I got no clue myself. Samoa Joe, the most dominant force in the six-man ladder match at Slam over his sword. You don't want to miss it here, starting next Saturday, here on Twitch. And it will be all the way to Sunday. It is a stacked night of action. You don't want to miss it. Great atomic drop by Samoa Joe as he goes in for the cover. Does he have him? Great kick out there by Samoa Joe. Look at him. Oh, wait a minute. Suicide in with an inverted DDT. He's starting to mount a comeback. Wait a minute. Oh. What a drop kick. A step right up. Samoa Joe going in for the Coquina Clutch. He's going in for the Coquina Clutch. Good night, Suicide. He is looking to go off to, to the Coquina Clutch. I expected this. I expected my boy Joe to win. The man is an absolute wrecking machine. I mean, we've seen, it. We've seen his agility. Wow. Boom. I mean, I think he really has a chance. You know, we might be looking honestly. at our next number one contender after Slammiversary here. We'll see. But ladies and we will definitely have to see. We are going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, the Impact Tag Team titles are on the line. As I said earlier in the broadcast, open challenge. I want to know who answered the challenge here tonight, Shane. Well, one way to find out. We'll come back from break. Let's Stay find out. And we will be back with more Impact Wrestling here on Twitch. But as I said, the, the challenge was laid out on social media. And I can't really truly re remember that challenge. And, whoa! Whoa! This is going to oh. be a terrific, a terrific Impact Tag Team title match here tonight. Hold on one second here. Definitely, definitely. Is somebody pulling in. Oh. No, not even going to, you know... I didn't think I would see Rinky and Christopher answer this challenge. So, I, you know, honestly, you guys are going to be in for a treat, an absolute treat, I assure you. I mean, he was hoping for the demons of the rising sun. <laughs> he said demons of the rising sun. No, I, I'm not sure if that was truly a one-off. I haven't heard any sort of update about that tag team. I don't know if you've heard about this tag team. It is actually... It received a name last week when Logan Slater and Volatile teamed up, Shane. You did not just say that name. You did not just say... Oh, lordy, 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 lordy comment 
Well, actually, in all honesty, it was a terrific match. I mean, they actually worked quite well together as we are back here on Impact Wrestling. Let's go to the ring for the tag team title match. There might be, there actually, I've heard a rumor. We're about to see here tonight if it's true. No, 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 no. Evolution is a mystery. No change and no one sees. Look at him. Look at the look of determination on their face, Shane. It is great to see the addiction pack in the ass, though. A unit. Okay, I gotta ask, why were you singing Evolution? I don't know, that's the... All right, all these people need to get rid of. Look at how many spammers in here, man. Jesus Christ. It's pretty bad, like, yeah, no, do you want to become, hey, Tommy Black, do you want to become famous? I'm already famous. Exactly, do you want to buy followers? I don't, I don't buy followers, I just work here. Boom, so, uh, Sajon, Sajondia1803199483, no, we don't want to become famous, we're already bloody famous. Put Jafar 9428. We're already famous, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait, can, oh, oh, a you can say whatever you want. 98 times three. Boy, we're already fucking famous. We don't want to buy no motherfucking followers. We got hundreds already. Fuck you, you fucking scamming wankers. Wait a minute. I see a new design for the Impact Tag Team titles. Oh, those oh, are some impact. Big boy titles. Look at that. <laughs> and here they are, the Impact Tag Team Champions. Proudly wearing the new Impact Tag Team titles. Look at them. But is the reign of the Briscoes in jeopardy here, Shane? No. Maybe. Oh. Good question. We will just have to see. Let's go to the ring for the showcasing of the titles and our our own makeshift introductions. Finally returning to the Impact Zone as a unit. This is a Ring of Honor rematch. Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian making up the addiction. Could they be the ones to upset? The Briscoes a week before slam anniversary. And the Briscoes have been fighting champions since they defeated the Rass on Impact Wrestling. They have actually been quite fighting champions recently, defending their Impact Tag Team titles against them. The titles are up for grabs, ladies and gentlemen. Who will walk away? Impact Tag Team Champions. Jay Briscoe starting out against Frankie Kazar. I'm sorry, Daniels, they know each other so well. Oh. Starting out again with another collar and elbow tie. Oof. Sending it right off the ropes. There we go, right off the ropes. Drop down. 
he went for the shoulder tackle, misses wildly. Kazarian and Daniels, the more experienced. There's that tag. Trying to turn this around, there's the elbows by Christopher Daniels. This. Oh my lord, what a maneuver by Christopher Daniels. Oh, he can't even make a tag like he wants to. What an idiot. Bring him away from his partner, turn around there by Daniels. Nice turnaround. Reversal there by Jay Briscoe. Oh! Beautiful job. I'm gonna cut off the ring. Briscoe's doing a great job, been fighting champions. Oh, oh wait a minute, I thought we were gonna see a tag. Mr. Daniels starting to take control of the match. Where are you going? Did they just step out of the ring? They wanted this match. I mean, quite oh. frankly, haha, <laughs> get it? Frankie. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, if, if they wanted this match, you said that already, so why do you want Lord knows, here's the tag, here comes Mark Briscoe. There's an atomic drop coming up with a big boot, great tandem offense. Coming out of the Briscoes, there's a tag to Frankie Kazarian. Off the ropes he goes. Oh my god! Giving a battle for the Impact Tag Team titles a week before Slam Anniversary is a lovely trip to your trick or treat holiday. Or a treat for your trick or treat holiday. Oh, and there's a light drop. Great kick out there. Ricky Gazarian, a former X Division champion, as well as Christopher Daniels. A lot of these men have been X Division champions. Oh! What a move! Oh, I thought we were going to see a tag right from Rosalia by Gazarian. There's a tag. We can get once more for good measure. Oh, and a double close line. Red Rover, motherfucker, for the cup. Oh, and I thought it was it. Jay Briscoe in, looking to go for the offense. There's a spine buster to Frankie Gazzari. Briscoe's definitely in control of this matchup here, Shane. Who do you think is walking away with the W here tonight? You know, I'm gonna have this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna say champion's advantage. Champion defending. It sounds weird. Okay. Think of it as this. If they get if someone defeats you, they keep the title. And honestly, with them defeating the title here, they're gonna have more momentum. They've been kind of doing well lately. Uh, so I think they have just like, Oh! A weird version of Champion's Advantage. Oh, going up. There's a monkey flip. Wait a minute. The referee. He didn't even see the tag. He's still counting it. He's still counting it. The ref didn't even see the tag. The ref didn't see the tag. All right, someone's gonna need to get new refs. Everyone's impact. My guy, new refs, get them. They're, they, they're just letting everything happen. Oh, we want an F3. Oh. Oh, here he goes. Wait a minute. Here comes Mark. Beautiful job. Great save there by Mark Briscoe. Look it out for his tag team partner. We were so close to having new champs. What do we got? Wait a minute. Damn. It's damn. What's this? Going for the cover. Briscoe with a save. Mark Briscoe with a 
save. Great tag team match we have happening here. Titles not changing hands whatsoever. I mean, it's still good. There's still plenty of action to go, I'm sure, in this match. So, yeah. Smart move by Mark, though. I'll give him that. I'm gonna get him off into the corner. Oh my god! He need to make a tag desperately. Jay Briscoe needing to make the tag here in this Impact World Tag Team Championship matchup. Going up. Oh, there's that takedown. Jay Briscoe trying to capitalize on the situation here on, in this matchup. Of course, right now, the Briscoes, as it stands for Slammiversary, will be defending their titles against the Good Brothers. That is going to be a match you guys don't want to miss on him on Slammiversary. On Sl and one's busted open. What's he looking for? Oh! Was he, was he yelling at him? Oh! It's not nice to yell. Oh, and here goes Mark Briscoe. Get the ball package! It's all good. Check out the replay. That could have broken for, for the cover. Oh, and Daniels was up in time. This. Oh, we got some great tag team action going on here all over the Impact World Tag Team Championship. Just a tag. Crowd definitely not liking the Briscoes at this current moment. <laughs> <laughs> Look at little psychopath, Flapjack. At least his name is not Slapjack. One, two in the... His name could be... This match is sprawled out of control. Battle per... Hold up. For the cover. This may be it. And the kick out there by Jay. Jeez. Don't step away ever again. Ooh, my God. Great reversal. Beautiful job. Oh. Great and good measure. Taking the right hands right to the face of the fallen angel. Yeah, uh, I think uh, I think we're getting near the beginning of the end game. Not sure. Wait a minute, off into the corner. Mark Presco coming back in with a side rush. In. What the hell? Oh my God! What is Mark Presco doing? Chair. 
He's got a ch- One more time here. Jay Briscoe, stop doing too much. What's this? Got him up with a underhook pile driver to the rebel Frankie Kazari. Oh my God. That could be it for the addiction. Or the cup. their titles here on Impact. Oh. oh. Yeah, baby. That Congratulations to the Briscoes on retaining their Impact. I pictured something completely different. Different. I really did. I definitely will, buddy. Thank you for tuning in, Michael and Jello. I will. What a huge win for the Briscoes. Thank God they re and now it is still intact. The Brothers and the Impact Tag Team titles against the Good Brothers at Slam Anniversary next weekend here on Twitch. And you know what, buddy? That is going to be one barn burning match, Shane. Oh, absolutely. Going to be hard-hitting, going to be straight to the point, going to be just massive. It's going to be a, a hell of a match. Definitely so, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up. Oh, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to hear from the number one, from the number one contender to Holiday's Impact Women's Championship Jessica Havoc, she is ready to claim her stake at the top at women's division at Slammiversary. She will be facing Holla Dead at, on night one of Slammiversary. Good God, I mean, listen to the matches that are spewing from here tonight. Uh, your name, Blitzkrieg, there you go. Did, did, did you forget my name? Possibly. You know, I think we're on a first name basis here. You could just call me Shane. Well, I mean, Shane, I mean, listen to the matches that are just coming out of my mouth that is set for slam -aversary. I mean, it is looking pretty damn good. Pretty damn toasty. I mean, Jessica Havoc. It's just been plowing through the Impact roster to get to this point. Let's hear what has to say. Oh, she's already in the ring. It's great to see that some knows how to make their way into the ring. And get here on time. Stop it, people. And, I mean, right now, Jessica Havoc saying she has taken matters into her own hands. I mean, she's been all over the case dead in recent weeks. And right now, she's definitely on the same case here tonight. She put her hands on Holiday a week before Slam Anniversary. Hell, basically all she can do is just take the title off of her and walk away. Jessica Havoc doesn't want to do the work, Shane. Well, of course she's going to I mean, yeah. No, I agree 100%. I mean, I think it's just pure laziness, you know? I mean, wait a minute. That doesn't sound like the music of our Impact Women's Champ. Wait a minute. Wait, that's, 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 um... Um, well, that's, that's unexpected. It's Shayna Baszler! What the hell is Shayna... And why is she not acting like herself getting to the ring? Fire! 
I mean, should, shouldn't she just already be kicking her ass? It seems like a Shayna Baszler thing to do. It, it does sound like a Shayna Baszler, Shayna Baszler thing to do. I want to thank everybody for tuning in here tonight to Impact Wrestling here on Halloween night. Shayna Baszler definitely out here interrupting the number one contender. And I can tell you right now, buddy, that is not the smartest thing that Shayna Baszler's done. It's not smart either. Jessica Havoc stating that she doesn't remember inviting her out here. You better get, give me a reason not to come over there and show you why it's not a smart idea to disrespect her. I mean, Jessica Havoc has really earned her shot at this Impact Women's Championship match, Shane. I mean, who do you see walking out, Holiday or Havoc? Well, Holiday's dead. So it's kind of... Holiday has been a phenomenal champ. Oh, that too. No doubt, no doubt. But... Whew. Now, I, th I think Jane needs to think. Being dead kind of has its perks. Also, being champion also has its perks. Being on like a little bit of momentum run has its perks. I mean, I, I think it's going to be close for sure, but I, you know, I got to get to the champ for that match. Mm -hmm. And given the size advantage that Jessica Havoc has, over Holiday, could that benefit Jessica Hack? I just found something interesting. What's up? Have you seen what just went on our Twitter page? Hold on one second. I think it got hacked again. Wait a minute. See, we're not the only one dealing with hack problems. What is going on here? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, those who are viewing, go ahead and check out what just went up on the Order Entertainment Enterprise Twitter page saying my redemption will come and they left us a video. Please go ahead and check that out. I don't know what this is. This is the second, this is the second time this week that this has happened. I don't know who it is. I mean... There was rumors stating from the first video that it could have been aces and eights. Still could be. Go ahead and check that out. I am definitely, definitely confused on what they are, what this is about. Uh, thank you for pointing that out. I wouldn't have noticed. Well, oh, wait a minute! Enough about that, we got a brawl! We got a brawl right now! Jessica Havoc taking the fight to Shayna Baszler! What a huge snap suplex! Wow! Wait a damn s- being told by Rick real quick, they just heard about this video going up. These two will be going head to head right after this once we get a referee down here to break up the brawl happening here. I mean, there's no way they need to get a referee out here, Shane. They, they really do. They need to hurry up because, quite frankly, I'd like to see this match actually happen. up the brawl this match is happening next havoc versus baszler here on impact wrestling we got ourselves a match coming our way that is right i mean the women's division is always growing here in impact wrestling and we got ourselves a terrific women's match. shane who do you got man you know, I'm not sure, man. These two definitely hit hard. I gotta go. I gotta go with Shayna Baszler. My reasoning: the MMA background, the just what she's done throughout her career, putting people to sleep, 
just quickly, beating the shit out of people so easily. So I, I do got to give it to Shayna for this one, as probably anti-characteristic as that sounds coming from me. I mean, who'd you choose? Sorry. Well, let's go to the ring. I chose Shayna. You chose Shayna. I chose. I chose Shayna. Oh, well, here she comes. Ew. It is hot in here. It really I mean, is. the action's unbelievable. Oh, yeah, no, I agree. Hot in here, but the action in the ring is spicy. Such a spicy meatball! But anyway, Jessica Havoc making her way to the ring here, ladies and gentlemen. She will be facing Holodead for the Imp Championship on night one of Slammiversary. And that, my friends, I mean, night one is going to start. I know damn well we are going to be slamming in with uh, full gear for AEW. But, hey, you're going to get some great action coming out of the Order Entertainment Enter Order Entertainment Enterprise Twitter pa or Twitch page each and every time you tune in. And here comes the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, trying to make a mark here at Impact. And she doesn't seem to be having the luck here, Shane. Yeah, man. Oh. For sure. Weren't they just out here? They were. I think Shayna Baszler was looking for her towel. She what needs that like towel, Samoa Shane. Joe. Samoa Joe don't need a towel, but he comes up with one. He's not going to just go back and grab one, though. He just wants to fucking put people to sleep. Then I like, don't know what she was looking for. Maybe maybe she was looking for that NXT Women's title that she, I mean, <clears throat> she kind of lost. Mm. Hey, you never know. It's called the Lutes. Um, hallucinations. Maybe the towel is her NXT Women's Championship. Maybe we're just stupid. I don't know. Well, we will never know. Here we go. Havoc versus Baszler. Matchup underway. What's this? Here on Shayna. With a win here tonight, could Shayna Baszler be entered into the women's title match at Slammiversary? Oh! Of course, there really is no major authority figure here in Impact. We just call them management. Honestly, we don't know who the fuck runs this show. But whoever it is, Shane, they have been putting on some quality entertainment each and every night. Oh! Each and every Saturday. There's a kick by Jessica Havoc. Into the corner goes Shayna Baszler. She needs to start making some sort of a comeback. Oh! I don't think she's ever experienced anything like that. Havoc, Baszler. That might have knocked her ass out. Probably worse than she ever got knocked out in MMA. Well, that well, that's uh. not cool. Nice job getting out of the corner. Reversal there by Jessica Havoc. What's this? Oh my god! What power by Havoc! I don't think Holiday knows what she's got herself into. Into the corner. What's this? No, for the... Oh, what a backbreaker by Jessica Havoc! She's looking here to... Havoc! Oh, not again, please. She can't... Tank anymore, what power again? Great kick out there coming out of Shayna Baszler. Very resilient athlete here, Shane. And 
It is gonna take a whole lot more to put down Shayna Baszler here in this match, Shane. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I'm trying to think of what it's okay to speak because Shayna and Shane sound way too similar and it's like, uh. I want to talk a lot, but I don't want to talk a lot and sound like I feel like a complete utter. Uh. I'll just call her Baszler since me and her are not on a first name basis. Well, for one, that was a huge knee right to the face of Havoc. Here we go. Oh, and there's a toss sending Baszler right to the canvas. And that is not enough to keep Miss Baszler down. Don't want to get on the wrong side of uh, Miss Baszler. Great body slam. And Havoc with a leg drop. Beautiful job by Miss Havoc. Don't want to get on the bad side of either one of these women here tonight. Oh, wait a minute. Baszler with a kick to the midsection of half. And for the strike. Look at Baszler go. Oh, and he won for good measure. She does again with another snap suplex, this time with authority. Going for the cover on Miss Baszler. No, too close to the ropes. I think Jessica Havoc got cocky there, Shane. Most likely, and to be oh honest, man, being cocky is not good. It makes you seem like a cunt. Not to mention, uh, you know, it gets you way too far ahead of yourself. It's like a havoc. Oh, wait a minute. Shayna Baszler rolling to the outside. Havoc not afraid to step to the outside, given the history of Monsters Ball matches. She's been in. Oh, my God. Her head collided with a barricade. Kick. Oh, Baszler not willing to take to the outside here tonight. Oh, and she drags her right out. Dragging her right out of the ring here. Oh, Jesus, no. For the love of God. Oh, my God. She just drove her right into the edges of the barricade. Dropping her. Face I first. can confirm that's not fun. It has happened to me before. It's very painful. What? It's very painful. Great kick out there by Shayna Baszler at two. And at least. And once again, Havoc with the knee to the face of Miss Shayna Baszler. Jessica Havoc. Oh, but she just got tossed. Shayna Baszler tossed. Like she was nothing. Like she didn't even matter here in Impact Wrestling. Oh, nice headbutt by Havoc. Oh, God. And one more time. Oh, and there's that leg drop. It's a lot of weight going right across the throat. Too much arrogance right there, ladies and gentlemen. Going right up and over. No dice. Jessica Havoc sending, getting sent right into the corner. Elbow there. Oh, and there's a massive big boot right to the face of Baszler. Oh. Oh. oh my god, what a match. Shane, I swear to god you should be GMing this place. At least we would have an authority figure. You know, you need to find out who actually is the GM of this place. Get him in here. Make him do something. Uh, he does. He puts on the... He, Puts on these quality matches. What the hell? Oh my god! For the cover, that's gotta be it for Basil. One, two, two, and the kick out by the former NXT.
NXT Women's Champion. What a huge slam by Havoc, Shane. Definitely for sure, but the green is going to be exhausted. And it's bad for um, Havoc because she's got a she's got a title match. Literally a week from tonight, yes? Oh no, yes she does! Tombstone by Jessica! For the cover! One! Two! Havoc picks up the win over Shane. Oh, and the crowd not happy here in Missouri. Oh. What a dominating hey, performance by Havoc. That took a while. Something what do you mean to that make took a... happy, however. It is I. Oh, Jesus. I have arrived here at the commentary desk. Oh, it's so, great Mr. to Black. see you, buddy. How, how was ORW last night? It was terrific. I had a very good time. I was joined by the was in champion for sections of the match card. Um, Section. Uh, yeah, it was a good night nonetheless. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't mean to cut you off right here, but we do have to go to a quick commercial break. And when we be back, when we come back, I'm going to be with Daniel Cole and Mr. Shane Blitzkrieg as we are calling. We are both seeing the number one contenders to the X Division and the Grand Championship in action. Did you see how badly they performed last week? They weren't even on the same page. There's definitely something personal between Cobb and Christian and is about to come to blows right here on Impact right after this. You can say on those different books. But anyway, I want to, I mean, Christian and Cobb, you know, they were completely, I mean, I think they were two books away from each other. I mean, two books, like, apart when it came to that tag team match last week when they took on the Demons of the Rising Sun. And to be honest, your thoughts, Mr. Cole, on that whole tag team, I mean, how do, how good do you think they could be to the Impact Tag Team title division? Well, the main issue I see with that potential pairing back they are both champions in singles divisions they are um they've both been well performing champions um seems that they are each very hard to peak so the idea that they would be allowed to form as a team would be unorthodox to say the least mm -hmm. without being mm -hmm. priorly um, uh, un unburdened by their oh. current championship reigns. Rightfully so. And a welcome back to Miss Basler. Anyway, let's... C and did you see what has popped up on the Order Entertainment Enterprise page? Uh, the redemption is coming. Oh my god. Very I mean, it has been very interesting. It's been an interesting week on the road to this, this episode and on the road to Slammiversary. And I know your prospect will be in action going up against Jeff Cobb here um, on night two. Of Slammiversary. Where he rightfully should be. Mm -hmm. Well, Christian making his way to the ring. I think his main focus right now is the mind games, the trickery here on Halloween night of the Demon King Logan Slater. And yes, I know he did appear, as you said, he did appear on ORW. Lord knows if he's even here tonight. That may be a whole part, all a part of the mind. 
that Slater has perfected so well over the course of his seven-year career here in Impact Wrestling. I would not be surprised to see potential appearance in this match by Demon King. He is known to be a bit more aggressive than his counterpart last week. I mean, he's not ready to let go of that X Division title. I mean, he is a title that escaped his fingers throughout the, his tenure here. But is Christian mm. ready for a force like the Demon King? I mean, is Jeff Cobb ready feelings. for a force? Didn't make his feelings quite clear on OOW regarding Christian's status and tenure. <laughs> I'm going to have to rewatch that ORW. But now the question is, as Jeff Cobb makes his way to the ring, is Cobb ready for a being such as the Demon Lord? Volta. He's very capable. Whether he could dethrone my prospect is another concept Something. entirely. And that's a whole different interview. Jeff Cobb, Cobb, I see, has a huge potential future here in the Impact Zone. But still has a few lessons to learn, as it were. I mean, Jeff Cobb has stated that he is ready to take the Demon Lord Volatile on the tour of the islands. The question is, can he do it? We will find out next... Uh, on night to a slam anniversary, but right now we got to focus on this match up here, and it's going to be a good one. I'm sorry, Mr. Black. Did you hear me? Just remind me who went on a tour of the island Queens last week. I believe it was Cobb. But, of course, he didn't really truly have a partner to help him out either. I can't swear this match has come to fruition. Beautiful neck breaker coming out of the number one contender to the X Division title. Christian taking the fight to the uh, island native. Jeff Cobb, there's the frog. Oh, and eat a flapjack. He went I, the I am. Oh. oh, I thought you went to yeah, the tail of this man. No, but I, I, I mean, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, uh, I'm, I'm coming over a loss tonight in the CMW, but could have been a world champion. I could have been a world champion. Uh, I have to lose tonight. Oh wow! Matches have been very 0 and 6. I'm He's very been very 0 and 6. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's is it getting to me a little bit? Yeah, sure, but it doesn't mean I'm doesn't mean I'm just gonna sit here and just fucking. Become a little bitch hey. the way, change my character for the two fucking time, so. Don't do that, Big Show. I mean, uh, just dust yourself off and uh, get back on the right track. That is my advice to you. Although, AJ over an LRW. Huh, really? Uh, what the hell is Cobb doing? Teamed with him against Minoru Suzuki and Tony in a winning effort, no less. Well, congratulations yeah. to you, Shane. Everything there, it's, just, it's weird. Because I literally just fought AJ, and that's who beat me. Well, that was like two weeks ago. That's true. I mean, a lot can change. So, I don't know if I'm so. Here we go, Christian trying to take control. Better back and forth battle between Tom and Christian. Here's the kick. The Captain Charisma needs to put him down. Christian apparently gonna take the right hand right to him. There's an elbow straight to the face of Cobb. That's quite a technical match. Nothing flashy here, except for that imma immaculate crossbody that Christian just executed not too long ago. Great neck breaker by Captain Charisma. Who do you, uh, Cole? Here's a question for you. Who do you think has the upper hand here in this match? 
struggling to really do good for his power offense and he's been oddly outstruck and overpowered by Captain Charisma. Christian, a former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, back in his tenure from two. Here he goes with a beautiful DDT to Jeff Cobb. Does he have the win here on Impact? Is he looking to ride it? No, I thought he was going to be riding the wave of momentum into Slam Aversa. That is a two count rather early in the match. Does not spell very well for Cobb. Frankly, a little disappointing. Jeff Cobb getting back up on his feet here, taking the elbows right to the midsection to Christian. Wait a minute. Oh, what up? Overhead belly to belly suplex right on to Christian. Why are you celebrating? How are you celebrating? Nice right hand by Christian. How is a celebration? Is the question. Oh, nice neck break. Christian taking the elbows right between the eyes of Jeff Cobb. Of course, the question lies right now, given, say if Cobb does pick up the Impact Grand Championship at Slammiversary, what would be next for Molotov? Well, it would leave Volatile open to the attempt then, potentially, if you know, maybe that would be the opening they need to pursue the form. Oh! What a hurricane runner from the top! That may be it for Jeff Cobb here on Impact! One! Kicked out, I thought it was three. I heard the referee slap the mat. That was three, guys. Whoa. Got the shoulder up in the nick of time. Very close. Oh, and Christian missing once again. Oh, look at Tom with a hurricane run on a Christian. Smart move, rolling to the apron. Christian trying to catch a breather. He did not expect that whatsoever. Oh, and Christian feet free falling to the floor after a huge right hand coming out of Cobb. Cobb taking the fight to Christian right on the outside. Clapped. Oh, and he missed the drop kick. Good job, Num Num. Uh uh. Here goes the over the head, belly to belly. Super. Jesus. Cobb with a headbutt. Here he goes. Oh, and he tosses Christian. Are they going to take this action back in the ring or not? Oh, my God. Christian stepping back out. I don't know if Cobb, I don't know if Cobb is bleeding or not. Fight close, I'm surprised his face didn't collide. Oh, and there goes Christian into the ring. What's he doing? Good God. What a hard hitting match we have here. I think Christian was going to bring into this match against Jeff Cobb here tonight. So, Mr. Beatsby, what would have to be your highlight match so far for Slammiversary? Hold on, give me one shot. What's this? Impaler DDT to the floor! You know, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't seen the card myself. Um, it's a mystery card. To me, it's a mystery. I can't seem to find it, but... Um, Are you saying the card is evolution? <laughs> it is... Um, anyway, uh, some of the highlights so far are the Doom Law vs. High vs. Jeff Cobb, the Doom King vs. Christian, the Fatal 3 vs. Sabian TJP 
Ricochet and Robin Dillon facing the four and the red squad. The six man ladder match for the Mark 1 contendership. The Good Brothers vs. the Briscoes for the Impact Tag Team titles. Havoc vs. Hollywood for the women's title. And Moose vs. Andrea Brown for the team. Eddie Edwards. Eddie Edwards. That, uh, we've seen that uh, come to blows earlier in the night. Eddie Edwards definitely ready for the fight against Moose at Slammiversary. What's he doing with that chair? That chair seems to be Christian's best friend. He grabs a hold of it a lot. Owen Cobble going to turn this around. No, no, not on the floor. Oh, my God. We will see a glorious man in action later on. Oh, yes, indeed. The final singles face off for the, of the six ladder match contenders. Christian headed off the ropes. Back body drop with authority on that. Here goes Jeff Cobb with a huge spine buster and a two count to charisma. So out of the matches that I may have listed. Oh, um, to mine? Let's go let's uh, start with Shane. Well, let's 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 get let's break first. Well, Wait, no, 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 uh, not here! Oh I'm not gonna go with oh. the match between Logan and Sam and Christian. I think that was definitely gonna be the same. What? Okay, that one's gonna be a safe. Jeff Good job, Jeff. <laughs> but uh but anyways, yeah, no, I gotta go with Logan versus Christian just for the simple fact that it's kind of good skill sets. Right, putting them together in a match is gonna be very much electrifying and I think it's gonna be probably the match to match. I think that's gonna be their that five star match for Slammiversary right? for sure. Well, I can uh, tell you as that much as I would love to agree with you, it does not help as your as the match that you have chosen. And one of the competitors get their teeth kicked in at the moment you start speaking about it. Well, I could be bad luck. You never know. The X Division title will be decided in a TLC match at Slammiversary on night two. Well, Jeff Cobb riding the wave of momentum into Slammiversary. Will that momentum crash when he faces the Demon Lord Volatile for the Impact Grand Championship? Good Lord, this is going to be a stack night of action next weekend. Folks, coming up next, as Daniel Cole has said already, the final face-off between the six men in the six-man ladder match to determine a number one contender for the Impact World Championship. Bobby Roode is going up against Zer Weight. Guys, what are your what do you think technical a tag master invited to stay on? I didn't Yeah, I, I mean I don't mind you're here. Oh. Well I mean as long as it's fine with um Mr. Blitzkirk. I mean since one guy can't I show up. To, I, I, I would not want to impose. Show up, we could use a third man. Boom. Shane. Yes. It is your call. You are the guest. Hey, I, you know what? I said let him stay. Nothing wrong with having a third man on our table here. Yeah, I have some problems with his advocate, but... Or with... with Every... Well, uh, that's, I don't have an advocate. I have okay, an advocate. my bad. I messed up my words. I forgot what the word was, but I hate your client. He... Prospect. But, Prospect client, they're about the same, but I, was, I can tell you this say. as we go to the ring. I can tell you this if I remember correctly, Cole, there was somebody guiding you in the corner when you were in the ring. If I'm not mistaken, oh, like another one. Um, I would use 
usually have a faction mate out with you, depending on where I was. But if you're referring to someone in particular, you might have to judge on that. Well, it definitely isn't a steal. And here comes the glory. I said it definitely wasn't a steal. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I have never <laughs> a steal. As have you wrestled him before? Stone Cold Buggy. Oh um, no, he was more sort of midwest as I um, did a lot of my tenure up in Asia. Bobby Roode making his way to the ring, definitely pinning his former rival Eric Young in, a, in that series of, of triple threat matches. Bobby Roode, a former TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Been spending a lot of time over here, Blitzkrieg. Yeah, I've noticed that. But you know what? He's trying to get some gold. If he can't do it normally, you know, he always go elsewhere. You know, he's had a past here in Impact. We have seen for many years between Beer Money. I mean, he's great for tag teams like Beer Money, for example. He's good in Canada. I mean, in Canada. I mean, I mean, quite frankly, if he wants to be an Impact to try to get some gold again you know, of the squared circle. I say let him. If he's determined, let him. And here comes Pete Dunn. Actually, one of my personal favorites. Pete Dunn, a former NXT United Kingdom champion, a former Impact X Division champion. He's looking to capitalize, given the fact he didn't use the option C clause in the X Division title. Um, he's finally gets Impact World title. But first, he has to well, literally climb to the top and become the number one contender at Slippery. That is going to be a brutal match. I can't wait for it. I'm ex that is the match I'm most excited for, to answer your question, Cole. That six-man ladder match. I mean, I believe both of you already know which match I would be going to set. I, I'm definitely stoked for that Cobb Volatile match. I mean, I think Jeff Cobb is going to be a huge challenge to the Demon. We'll see. Well, here we go. Starting off technical here. Here goes Pete Dunn. Bobby Roode with the reversal. Mr. Blitz, who would you have to be taking in this match? Man, uh, it's definitely a 50-50 for me, but if I actually had to pick one here, I would say Pete the Bruiser Ray. Uh, quite frankly, the man has done a lot of things in his career. He's probably one of the best in competitors I have ever seen in my two eyes. Um, but I'm not going to tell Bobby Roode. Okay, the man is also great in the ring. I think Pete done with his, kind of his stature and just how he gets the job done. I think Pete Dunn will come up with it. Oh, what a kick by it? Dunn! Oh, it's a very on interesting matchup as I don't believe the ladder stipulation really favors these two men, regardless of who walks away, which is the winner here tonight. I mean, we, all, we both know, uh, me and you, Cole, both know that Pete Dunn is not a ladder match type of dude. I mean, look at the match he had with Matt Seidel involving the X Division title, losing it to Seidel here on Impact. Um, w does have a bit more uh, meat on the bone as it were, and that does not favor the lot of the stipulations where you have to be a bit more nimble and agile to learn the ability oh. of to, be, to get up. What a huge power bomb by Dunn as he goes for the cover here on Bobby Wood. What else? Great kick. This is what I love about Pete Dunn. He will fold your anatomy in half. Uh, do you know the structure of the Bobby match? Wait a minute. In the ring. <laughs> oh. No, it's a, it's a, of course, you can go to the Bobby match. Whether that be contesting for an object hanging above the ring or to be It is for a brief strike. case. Oh, is it, like they um, grab the briefcase, they become number one guitar. Oh, 
So it's not not a contender to provide as much as it's absolute. <laughs> contender you grab the briefcase you become the number one contender you don't hold on to the briefcase like a money in the bank well i mean the you claim the bonus you claim the briefcase but you also have to defend it oh no no that's just absolute defendership uh, and you and you speak about New Japan. There has been speculation going around on social media that, that they've been starting to guess who the mystery opponent is. Rumors have it he is a part of the Bushi Road deal. And I kind of want to know who it is. There will be a triple threat, a triple threat match to determine the number one contender to the Impact Television Championship. And there is a mystery opponent, and I want to know who it is. I'm going to go out on a limb and say... Oh! He done rolling to I'm the outside, guess, right I'm to the... I guess um, Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay. Hmm. What is this? Oh, and Rude being suplexed into the floor. Done. Trying to get a win over the former TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Can he do it here? I mean, taking a lot of offense right to Bobby Rude. But don't knock Bobby Rude. He has been putting up the good fight against none other than the Bruiserweight. Oh. Great German suplex coming out of Pete Dunne. One off right here, beautiful shove off. Bobby Roode. Oh, I think he was looking for that spine buster there, Blitzkrieg. And good, good on Pete Dunne for reversing, man. Pete Dunne, an absolute pioneer, drawn style. I mean, an absolute pioneer. I've loved his work since he was in progress. And when he came here to Impact and was part of NXT, I I knew it was my destiny to call one of this young man's, one of this young man's matches. And here he goes, Pete Dunne from the top. Underhook suplex to Bobby Roode. Cover, that's gotta be it for the glorious one here in this co-main event. Two, and the kick out by champ. I want to thank you, each and every single one of you, for tuning in to Impact. Oh, look at the reversal by Bobby Roode. What more strength into the tombstone. Wow. And the kick out there by the bruiser weight. Where's Matt Riddle? Right off the ropes, there goes Pete Dunne. Tried to go for it. Oh no. Oh, and there's a block. Runs up on his feet. Kick to the midsection there by Bobby Root. One more time. Pete Dunne with a sit out for the cover on Bobby Root. Does he have the W here? And there's the kick out by Root. Wow. Now, Cole, I know that you're the guy in has for each of these men. Mm -hmm. I know you're a genius and you can keep a track mentally. <laughs> I wish I was like this, but now I do keep a paper track. Thank you, Mark Angelo. I'm sure that we'll be sending our. A radio we will be. once we finish it. Oh! What a move by Pete Dunne! Busting open Bobby Roode line! Two! And the kick out by Roode! Whoa! Oh, here he goes. Pete Dunne hoisting up Bobby Roode for a bit. That may be it. One! Two! Pete Dunne picks up the win here on Impact.
Happy Ben Ruth to zero nothing. Three one two. He done picking up the win, but we got something going on here. Circle. Bobby Roode. Actually impressed with the match that he just had with Pete Dunn. A sign of risk between Roode and Dunn. I think we might see a temporarily a temporary alliance in the six-man ladder match at Slammiversary, and that will be kicking off night two of Slammiversary Sunday night. But ladies and gentlemen, when we come back here on Impact Wrestling, we are going to be at our main event. And apparently during the course of the show, apparently Rob Van Dam and Chris Sabin ran into each other in the halls backstage. They're like, look, and you know, Van Dam was impressed that he got the win over him last week. They are trying to put their differences aside here for just one night and just put Ricochet and TJP out of commission before Slammiversary. They're trying to get the win here tonight. We will just have to see when we come back here on Impact Wrestling. You don't want to miss this main event here tonight. That is right. T uh, the, we're just going to have to see, I mean, who attacked Alex Shelley has been the main question. Last week, Chris Sabin. You know, put it from Holy Door from LW. <laughs> Chris Sabin put up the good fight after Rob Van Dam blatantly said, Maybe you might be the attack. Sabin tack his own partner. Well, it's kind of ironic now that he is in now the fatal four way match for the Impact World Championship. Ricochet been going through a bit of a transformation and I don't know if a lot of people have noticed it in TJP actually beating Rob Van Dam as well to enter so two of these men have beaten the Impact World Champion already here on Impact how is it looking for Rob Van Dam entering Slammiversary well I mean last I checked he's the champ so Sure, the match that he's in is not going to give him that champion's advantage. But I think because he's the... I think... I want to say he's the bigger veteran of the group. He is. Uh, uh, for that yeah, match. he is. I, I want to say the veteran instincts are definitely going to kick in for RVD. I think he's going to find some way, whether it's cheap or just plain old fucking smart. And I think he might be the one to come away still the Impact World Champion. Tonight has been very smooth, and it's been quite good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cole, what is your opinion? How is it looking for Rob Van Dam as we come back to Impact Wrestling? Um, I can understand why three of the men are in the map. I cannot understand why the four things. Which one? Um, TJP. I can't. He beat the champ. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, he's um, not not looking great. With, um, two people that have beaten him have now stepped into the match. Well, Ricochet making his way into the ring. And definitely been a different attitude of Ricochet lately. I mean, he is pretty much showing no mercy to anybody he steps in the ring to. We have seen like this this hybrid of what was what used to be Ricochet in Prince Puma. It has been a more edgier offense of Ricochet lately. More aggressive, might I say, Danny. And Prince Puma was notorious for the same time. Ricochet cashing in his rematch clause. Little did he know that this match was going to be a set for the Impact World title. But right now with the offense that Riddle casing, I truly think he might walk away Impact World Champ. So could this young man. Here comes T. The man just stabbed him. 
and of course is going to be coming tomorrow night. No, it is not a pay-per-view, everybody. Order Entertainment Enterprise is Haitianal stream of World War Z. Anybody is welcome to join those who are worse. It will be our X Division champion, Logan Slater, and Mr. Daniel Cole hosting that invitational stream. And it's going to be a fun one from what I'm hearing. So as I said, Sunday night, there will be an open invitational stream of World War Z and possibly Rainbow Siege Six. Did you just say Rainbow Siege Six? Whatever. Six Siege. Yes. Oh, here he comes, the Impact World Champion. Look at how shiny that belt is. Shiny. Lord, how many times? I'm sorry, I'm getting like headlights shining, shining through my window. I'm like, God damn, how many times are you gonna leave? My bad, it's just my ADD, Rob Van Dam, seemingly not wanting to let go of the Impact World title. But I think his brain is in jeopardy and at Slam Reverse. Double jump. Yeah. And now he awaits his partner again, Sabin and Van Dam. Chin. Looking to put their differences aside. Slam anniversary. All four of these men. Well, the game, great sitting in with the impact stream here tonight. I unfortunately have been called away. So, I'll leave the main event to you guys. I appreciate you being here. Have yourself uh -huh. a great night. A safe great night and a terrific Halloween. Now, Chris Saban making his way to the ring. All four of these men, Shane, are a part of the Impact World Title match at Slammiversary. My God. It is going to be one fast-paced your way at Slammiversary. But possibly you know, see. Go ahead. Oh, what I was going to say was, you know, whichever team comes out with the victory in this match, I believe that's going to be going into the third full way at Slammiversary. Just think about it. Mm -hmm. If oh, definitely Ricochet, is. they technically got a, another win over the champ. Obviously, if it's the other way around, the champ goes in with that momentum, but also does Chris Saban. So... This is actually going to be good for whoever the victory. Uh. Van Dam with a leg lariat. Here he goes with that own oh, What a backflip for the cover here on Ricochet. Wow. Right now, the mystery still is who attacked fellow Motor City machine gun Alex Shelley. Wow. Holy cow. Here's the tag by TJP and Ricochet. What do we got? Oh! Beautiful the match that we're coming in on the team of Ricochet and TJP. TJP, a former Impact X Division champ, a former WWE Cruiserweight champ. What are you doing? Stop doing what you're doing. Just like stood on his leg. Like, what was that, Shane? Well, I believe that is what we call a way of injuring your opponent. Uh, if you kind of stay on his leg, begin the weight on just the leg, could probably fuck it up, maybe. TJP writhing in pain after that huge sunset flip by Rob Van Dam as he's looking to fly here. Oh my god! Bring this matchup back inside the ring. Van Dam makes his way back in. Seen some great tandem offense coming out of the team of TJP. Oh, and here comes Saban. Sneak tag. Ooh. Beautiful work. Great Hurricane Rana coming out of Saban, who is also a former TNA World Heavyweight Champion. 
cashing in on the option C clause of possibly eight of his X Division title runs. Yes, he holds the record for the most impact X Division title reign shape. Well, that's a free fun fact about wrestling. Wow! He just missed that crossbody. Beautiful job by TJP getting out of the way. These two are fighting on the outside. First time these two have met here in Impact. Ho oh, oh. TJP with a beautiful tip up. This match going all over the place, Shane. What a main event. The his way back inside the ring. Oh, absolutely. I and mean, having such an incredible night of action to end off with such a big, high stakes main event. I mean, this, this is what we've this is what been doing. I know there's a lot of self advertising, man, but Jesus Christ, we are better. We're better, man. Saban bringing TJP into the ring. Is he going to get the tag? No, Saban cuts him off, given that he has. With Alex Shelley, who is currently resting at home due to the rude opponent. Right as he was about to challenge for the Impact World Cup well over a month and a half ago. Now, the question lies here, Shane. Should Alex Shelley and he challenge for the Impact World title as TJ Pilon drops to the back of the neck to save it? Well, it depends. I need context. What do you mean? Was he in the running for the title before he was attacked? And I mean, he did beat like Ricochet. He beat oh. Ricochet, who was the number one contender. Okay, well, if that's the case, I would say yes and no. I would say Why yes. Why would you say no? In, well, I would say no for the simple fact, you know, that. At Vince McMahon, but you know you could just put it like this. <laughs> you could just put it like this. Alex Shelley, yes, he did defeat the number one contender, but that doesn't mean he beat the champion. Now, if you oh. actually got over all the champion, I would say definitely make him go for the title, especially if RVD is still the champion after Sam Reverse. You know, so we'll we'll see, man, we'll see. But I do want to know who attacked him because that's just cool. That's just rude. That's just rude. Oh, and there's a splash. Great tech teamwork coming out of Van Dam and Saban. Van Dam coming in out of nowhere. There's the tag to Rob Van Dam. What do we got? Van Dam heading off the ropes. Great kick. Saban with a clothesline. Going up. TJP with the same. What is up, Michael and Jello? Thank you so much. What's he doing? Not the TJP here. Oh, and Ricochet with the reversal in a poison run on the wrong hand. And both men went for something. Missing wildly there. Lord knows what he was looking for, but Van Dam. Oh, Ricochet with the turnaround. He sent me out, or she sent me out. Oh, and that clipped. Saban just getting in the ring. Oh, he's mocking Van Dam. Ricochet is mocking Rob Van Dam. Well, that's a ballsy move. I mean, because quite frankly, if you're if you're gonna be a dick and mock, 
know, one of the best competitors, one of the best high flyers in the business. Then I suggest what RVD does, lights up a joint, you know the classic way of putting out a cigarette on somebody? Oh! Do that with his joint when he's done with it, right? Does that sound like a good way to come back? Be a definitive good way. Beautiful rolling thunder by Rob Van Dam. Here's the ta oh, I thought we were going to see a tag. Turn around there by Rob Van Dam. Oh, what's he doing? And Dam stepping up. Great tornado DDT. He needs to go for the cover here. He got him. Great job cutting off Van Dam trying to pick up the win on Ricochet. And the kick out there by the number one contender. One of the number one contenders. Great drop kick coming out of Ricochet. They step up. Oh, and a drop kick straight to the heart. We're getting a little preview of what's to come inside the ring three here, Shane. Great kick out by Ricochet. You know? We're just the way this tag match is going to be. One, two, three, men bound. Oh, and Van Dam right into it. Oh, great job. What the hell is Saban doing? away from making the tag. Van Dam needs to make one. ASAP here, Shane. But what a great tag team match we have here tonight. Oh, and what a power bomb by Ricochet. Great fireman's carry. Into the corner goes Ricochet. Oh, God, there's the ref. He's out. The referee's out. The referee's out! Here's the tag to TJP! What's Ricochet doing? Oh my god! What a maneuver by Ricochet and TJP! And damn desperately needs to make the goddamn tag! For the cover here in the out by the world champ! Chicken Wang! Chicken Wang! Tuning into the action here. Oh, awesome move. And you guys have been awesome here tonight. And I hope you guys will tune in next week. One and two. What is Van Dam doing with Ricochet? Not going to be pleasant. But he caught a beautiful maneuver there. Saving playing smart. No dice there. Van Dam had it scouted. Beautiful drop kick. A man with a tricky feet trying to regain control. This not to ricochet. Please not to ricochet. No. Oh, and that just shook the enemy. Taking the chair, trying to take the chair. Van Dam has something in mind. Let the man use the chair. What's he doing? Van Dam. Wait, catch. Oh, and an, that doesn't count as a disqualification. Van Daminator by Rob Van Dam. This attack. Close 
to the roof of job by Sabre, realizing how close he was to them ropes there, Shane. De definitely close, man. I mean, it's good that they didn't get to the ropes in time. Great game. Yeah. Oh, the ricochet looking to sail. He's looking to fly. Sail! And looking for that. No, no, 630 for him. Is he Orange Cassidy? Great take down there by Chris Saban as he goes for the cover here on the Ricochet. Great kick out. The Ricochet's, or Saban's looking for it. Cross legged Samoan driver. Beautiful maneuver there by Chris Saban. Wow. There's a oh, wait a minute. He's tagging in Van Dam. What's he doing? Van Dam, why? For that patented five star frog splash. Oh my God. I think he took the referee with him, Shane. Yeah. Wait a minute! The referee is down! There's no referee! No ref! Why? Oh, look at oh. What athleticism by Ricochet! Oh, God. What? You called it, by the way, before we talked. Before we went live, you said, I see a certain type of match. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even notice that till now. Yeah. Oh, wait! As always, I can see the future. Look at Ricochet, he's looking to fly here, ladies and gentlemen! Oh my god! He just put his body right on the line to take Rob Van Dam right off his feet. I'd be proud too, that was amazing. Make the tag, make the tag, make the tag, he got it, even. Here comes Saban. Where's he going? Oh, great shoulder tackle there by TJP. Losing momentum a lot. TJP trying to go for the dirty cover. What a kick out. He's trying to go for a dirty pick. Obviously, both these teams are good shits for two months. Uh, heading in the same direction, so I can't believe it's two months with any of them. It's actually... We're gonna leave it. Oh my god! He just DDT'd the man to the apron!
Well, Saban trying to get TJP to his feet. Wait a minute, no! Why? be in this match as he's looking at and ricochet oh and he landed on his feet eat the kick good night ricochet what a kick by Saban as he can ricochet here and the kick out and not the TJP a double dose of a final heartbeat By Chris Saban. Definitely learned that when he was doing time over in Japan. One more time. No! Triple heart beats by Saban as he heads to the skies to put away Ricochet. Oh, and he missed. And the kick out there by Chris Saban. What's this? Northern Lights. Oh my God! Too mildly. Oh, he dropped it. Dropped it. Jesus. Chris Saban up. What is this? That's a tarantula. Look at that maneuver. That was sickening. Wow. These men are beating the unholy hell out of one another. One, two, and that's not up. Enough. Ricochet up! Good God Almighty! In for the cover. And they get the win! Chris Saban and Van Dam managing to get the win over Ricochet and TJP. Hell of the future. I mean, we got Slammiversary next weekend, ladies and gentlemen. A stacked two-night event starting Saturday into Sunday. These two managing to put aside the differences to pick up the win here on Impact. It's definitely only one time because Chris Saban wants to wear the world title around his waist. But of course, he has to pin one of the three challengers in that huge fatal four-way. 
the main event of Slammiverse. Well, folks, if you enjoy tonight's content, go ahead and head over to our social media pages on Twitter, at Order Entertain One. We would love to hear from you, and also give us a like on Facebook, Order Entertainment Enterprise, and we will try to keep you up to date on what's happening. And of course, you can go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all the previous video on demand we have done. And you can also follow Mr. Shane Blitzkrieg's YouTube channel as well. Go ahead and shut that up. Well, definitely so. Tomorrow night, the Open Invitational World War Z stream here on the Order Entertainment Enterprise page. You can join the Impact X Division champion and the WEW American champion alongside Daniel Cole in the Open Invitational stream. But that is it. That is all that has been for Impact Wrestling here on Twitch. And I will see you guys Monday night for this man's show right here, Monday Night Raw. I have been the voice of Order Entertainment Enterprise, Tommy Black. Good night, everybody. And oh my God.